There's nothing worse than going out on a Saturday night and finding yourself left out of the fun because you don't know what everyone else is talking about. Catch up on the week's hot topics with the Sun's Blaggers Guide. Juve got no chance, or do they? Surely things will get messy for Juventus in the Champions League final. Forget Lionel Richie's boast that he bedded hundreds of women early in his career. His Barcelona namesake's been scoring plenty himself this season, bagging 58 goals so far. But football's a funny old game, so maybe the Italians can cause an upset. After all, Carlos Tevez has banged 50. Goals, that is. What to say? I don't normally watch foreign footy games, but the Champions League final is must-see viewing. Suppose I'll support Juve, so I prefer pasta to paella and always cheer on the underdog. Britain's got cheaters. This has given us all pause for thought, as in dog's paws. Britain's got talent has been rocked by a secret stunt dog double scandal. None of the production crew twig. Did they think that winning pooch Matisse had simply brought his twin brother Renoir along for moral support? But no, Matisse took the weight of his paws while a look like Mutt hit the high rope. That would be like Jedwood playing a solo set and only singing half a song each. What to say? BGT is good entertainment and a bit of a giggle, but what on earth does a cheating dog say about the state of live talent shows in this country? Man, I feel like a woman. Bruce Wayne transformed into Batman and now Bruce Jenner has become Caitlyn. Kim Kardashian's stepdad turned stepmum and veiled her incredibly womanly form on the cover of Vanity Fair. The former Olympian sure has ringed in the changes, with people comparing her to Cindy Crawford, Jessica Lange and Courtney Cox. Nobody was particularly interested in Bruce, but Caitlyn sure has stolen the spotlight from the attention-hungry Kardashian clan. What to say? Hats off to her for embracing the gender she best identified with. I look forward to seeing her in either I'm a Celeb or Celebrity Big Brother soon. Big lineup of Fezitavils. Music festivals usually involve punishing intakes of alcohol, so it's not uncommon to pass out and lose your mate at one point or another. Then you wake up in a field somewhere, sporting a sore head and a phone with no signal or internet. How the hell will you meet up again? Well, that's a problem that won't be facing festival goers much longer, thanks to a new app by Fezzi that's being rolled out this summer. In a nutshell, it's a device-to-device -device technology that allows you to communicate with each other without a mobile or internet signal and shows you where your buddy is on a map. What to say? Well, if I get too drunk and don't make it back to the tent, can you come and find me drunkenly festering in a nearby ditch the following morning? Cheers, mate.